Hey guys, it's VT Gamer Girl 11 back in the video. Before I get started, I would like to apologize for anything in the background, aka the bed being a mess. Uh, my dog was up there sleeping and I didn't want to mess with him, so I just left it. And uh, yeah, and I just, my appearance is horrible. I've had a last like three or four days that have just been horrible and negative and it's not changing anytime soon, so I needed something to pick me up. So I thought I would do a Tariba unboxing. Um, Long story short, if my words or anything are off in this video, I'm sorry. I'm probably not going to know the names of some of the things in here. My brain is in a completely different place right now and serious stuff that I have to deal with that's not going well. So anyway, this is from, this is the first box. I have a much larger box. You can't even see, but it's down here. It's huge. Um, from Tariba. This one's actually from Tariba 2D. It's the first time I ever played Tariba 2D. I ended up paying about $22 for this. I had three free plays that I don't know how long it's going on, but they give you like three free plays until you supposedly win something. Um, basically, you end up paying for it anyway. But this ended up being about $22 on eBay. It is, they go for about $60. Bucks. Now, I didn't want to pay that much, so I figured it'd just be better to do it that way. I do not, however, recommend playing Tariba 2D unless you severely won a prize and you cannot win it on actual Tariba and you can't find it cheaper or around the same price for like on eBay or anywhere like that. So, uh, anyway, we can just break the box completely. That works too, right? Alright, so this is a Kirby Room Light, and that is the wrong side. See what I mean? <laughs> that is. A Kirby room light and he basically lights up I'll take them out but if you look on the side of the uh, packaging it shows you the different colors that he lights up and yeah I don't know why over here it's like one there's apparently two different versions you have one with the mouth closed and you have one with the mouth open I got the I don't remember let's see I got the one with the mouth open, so if you can see the blue dot down there at the bottom, that's the one that I got. It's not the one that you see in the picture, it's actually the other one, it's the little one down there. So yeah, um, I would open this, but I'll probably just take pictures of it and put it in the video because I don't want to waste time because I have this giant box to get through, but I really love this and I really wanted it, so I was happy to get that. On to the giant box. Here is the giant box. Like, it won't even get on my camera, it's so big. <laughs> so, we're going to cut into it and pull stuff out. Honestly, I don't remember what's in this box because I had shipments that were, like, sent out, like, first before other shipments that I did previously that still haven't been sh sent out yet. So, I'm not sure what's in here. I just know it's a bunch of stuff. So, <laughs> let's get to it. Well, this box opened a lot easier than the other box and I just knocked the hat off of it. Alright, so while we're on the Kirby thing, I won this one on a ping pong ball dropper. You'll see all the winning clips in this video. And I really wanted him too, so I was happy. I love Kirby. Like, who does not love Kirby? You have to love Kirby. Kirby's just cute and adorable, right? So, I got Kirby. He's like a Hawaiian Kirby. I'm guessing. I don't know what his technical name was, but I love him. And he's pretty big. And I'm not going to take them out of their packaging unless you can't see them, but from putting my hand in it, it does feel like it is soft. It's really soft. Next is something else that's huge. I, I done forgot that I even won this. This is when you know you have a problem with Tariba. When you forget what you won, you have a problem with Tariba. I forgot about this. <laughs> This is a hamster with a watermelon slice. And it's just a jumbo plush as well. That, that comes off easily. And yeah, he's really soft. There's his little tag. That's the other ones that they also had in a ping pong ball droppers. Now I have seen, somebody has found these at Books A Million. Um, I don't have, I used to have a Books A Million. I used to love Books A Million. I no longer have a Books A Million, however, but if you do have one, check them out because some people have found these in there. I don't know if they're the same size or a smaller size. I think they're the same size. I don't know how much they sell them for. 
but this one I got off of another ping pong ball dropper. I'm just like, I'm obsessed with the ping pong ball droppers. To me, they're easier because it's like basically luck and not skill based when it comes to that. It does have a little bit of skill base to it if you want to bounce a ball off another ball or how you angle it and stuff like that, um, which I would do a video on, but it's kind of difficult to kind of explain it. But anyway, on to the next stuff. Here's a little cat. It's a little pink cat with a little bell attached to it, and it does make noise. This, uh, I think it, it's supposed to be like a keychain. It can be a keychain because it has this little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got this little thing on the top here that you can use it as a keychain. It's like a little pink thing right there. So yeah, we got that. Uh, I forgot what this dude's name was, but I just thought he was really cute and I wanted him. And this was not, this was one of the ones that you like push through. This was one that you had to like knock off. He has a name. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, he's really cute. And there's also like a, I believe it's a squirrel that goes with him that I wanted to get, but I still haven't been able to get. But it's basically like, I think this is a seal. Don't, don't mark my words for it, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. So yeah, got that. Got, <laughs> Do not get me started on this one. I spent way too much money on this little tiny monkey. I don't even know. It was like maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. But like he would not go through the bars to save my life. But eventually he did. I don't even want the little monkey, honestly. I just, it looked easy to win at the time. And then it turned into a competitive, I must win this moment, which resulted in me spending too much money, which I suggest you don't do. Set yourself a limit. I have done that now, but before that, I wasted my money on stuff like this that I don't even really care or want. This will probably go to my little sister, or I might put it up on Tariba, um, on the Facebook page for Tariba and try to exchange it with somebody or sell it. Next is Muffin. This goes with Pom Pom Perin, and I really wanted this. This is another one that you push off the side. So we got that, and oh yeah, I need this right now. I have the other one of these that I showed in another video. This is the Donald Duck um, squishy ice cream shop thing. This is what they basically look like out of the package. This is a poo one that I also got from Tariba. Now I use these things a lot for stress, so when you do that, it they do tend to uh, break pretty easily obviously they're cheaply made they're squishies but I'm just saying they are really nice squishies like really nice as you can tell it's it's gone through hell with me <laughs> so uh, this one is the Donald Duck one which is the one that I really wanted so I'm gonna try not to hurt him as much because I like Donald Duck more and I don't want to hurt him but it's just sometimes you need to like squeeze things and you can't help it so I got that <laughs> If you have anxiety, I know they're like childish, but I highly recommend squishies. Like, they really help me. Like, fidget spinners used to help me, but squishies help me more because you can just sit there and squeeze it and squeeze it and just take it out on the squishy. And it also, like, kind of builds up your strength a little bit, which sounds stupid, but it does. But yeah, this is the next one that I got. It's just like a big ball. It's not as soft as the other ones, but it was really cute, and it's got like a little pajama hat. And I thought this was actually smaller, so this is larger than what I was expecting, which is nice. This was another one of those push it through the bar ones. So we got that. Good God, I've got a problem. I'm telling you, like, like, I just, like, like, really, like, anyway. <sighs> these, like, like, see, example. This is a perfect example. Who needs two of these? Who, who needs two of them? I mean, they're cute. Yes, they're adorable. But why do you need two? Why do I even need one? I don't know. But anyway, these were in one of those machines that you, um, they were like in little boxes and you have to pick up the box and bring it over to the center and it drops it and there's like little bars there and the, the box that you pick up has to fall in between those bars to win. And these are pretty easy to win, which is why there's two of these and then I've got other ones as well in here. Um, my justification for that was I was gonna keep one that I don't need, but apparently I did, and give the other one to my sister. 
So I'll probably save these and give that blah, give them to her for Christmas. Yeah, that was one of the dogs. And then here's another one that I want to of. Was this little dog right here? And they were just like really simple to win, so I took advantage of it. And then we have this little black cat, which is also, I just realized, is the same as the white cat, or the same grouping anyway. This one has a little purple thing on the back that you can use to hang it up or put it on a keychain or something. I like the black one though because it does remind me of my cat, so I probably, I'll at least be keeping a black one. I think this has like some type of beads. It has beads or beans or something in the bottom part of it. Otherwise, I would give it to my dog, but I don't want it to get the bell or the bean, so I'll be either giving that to my little sister too, or getting rid of that one on the Facebook page. But yeah, this one I'm definitely keeping, so got that. God, Lord Jesus. Okay, we're getting towards the end. I cannot remember what this thing's name is for the life of me, but it's from Final Fantasy, and I had to get it because it was just adorable. Like, do you, do, you, do you see it's Tom? Like, hold on. You can't see... You can't see this preciousness of this thing. I'm gonna get rid of the plastic. You can't even get them out of the plastic. Okay. It's, it's, it's not just... I know it's kind of creepy, but it's, like, creepy adorable, is it not? Like, look at its little tongue. It's just so cute. Like, it's adorable. <gasps> It's mouth looks kind of like a messed up watermelon. It's just adorable. <laughs> uh, this is from Final Fantasy. It says on the bottom here, Final Fantasy Online. I don't know how well you guys can see that tag. But I can't remember what his name is. And obviously on the back it's in Japanese. So I, I, I don't remember. It says Final Fantasy Online on its little tag thing too. But it doesn't say his name. But he's so cute. And just adorable and I had to have him and he was also a ping pong ball dropper um, the next two and I think the last two yeah were also ping pong ball droppers now this one I used to collect polar bears I love polar bears they're one of my favorite animals ever like I absolutely adore them and I saw this and I had to have it um, they do make if you're into Kirby they do make Kirby's. I forgot what these things are called. They do make Kirby's like this. These are animals that have, or things in general that have big chins. I like to call this the Jay Leno polar bear. <laughs> Is it not adorable? Like, you see, the, the chin's like oversized. It's like that on all of them. They have like, this is like a, what's it called? See if it says it on, I can't tell because it's in Japanese. But, here. Well, I don't want to mess this tag up by breaking it open. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll find a picture of them and I'll stick it in here so you guys can see like the other animals and stuff. This is like a series of animals that have big chins. And they apparently, I don't know if it became like really popular in Japan, but they have made Kirby's that have the big chin as well. And I have not seen those on Tariba um, since I've been playing, but I have seen them online where people's been selling them So if you look up the name which you'll see in a little picture clip um, And put Kirby with it. You might be able to find those if you're interested online This is a little polar bear with a big chin. His, his name is now Leno because he reminds me of Jay Leno. So <laughs> I love Jay Leno Now I got a polar bear reminds me of him. So we got that He's not as soft. He's more like firm than the other ones are Ignore me. <sighs> Told you, I've got issues right now. Okay, next one. This one I thought was a ping pong ball dropper, but now I don't. I, I got a different one of these. I think this one was a ping pong ball dropper, but this is Rascal. I love Rascal. I think he's just adorable. And he looks like this. He's really soft pretty big. There's a little tail on the back. I like the texture of his tail. That's kind of weird, but I like that. Um, it tells you right here, it's, there's his name, Rascal. 
and he's really soft he's not really like he's not that stretchy but he is really soft I'm trying to collect like him and pom pom for and stuff I have like a giant one over there that's why I'm pointing and uh, pretty much that's it that I can think of at the moment but yeah I just the second I saw him and pom pom for in, I fell in love so now they are like collectibles for me so anything I get that's related to them I do not get rid of unless it's like a duplicate or something which I haven't got yet so yeah that is everything <sighs> okay if I take out the curvy room light that I really wanted and I just focus on this box if I had to pick a favorite God, that's hard in this box. Um, <laughs> let's see. Honestly, uh, it's between the Final Fantasy guy and and Kirby. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Kirby. I have to go with the Final Fantasy guy because he's just unique. Like, you can find Kirby's all the time. I haven't seen really that many plushes of this dude, like, anywhere. Honestly, it's the first time I saw him in plush form anywhere so I'm sure there's multiple plushes of him this first time I've seen him it's just so cute and creepy and adorable at the same time so that has to be my favorite but I love all of these um minus I don't understand why I did a couple of these like the monkey and the little dogs but that's true before you did you start playing you get addicted and then you end up getting stuff you didn't even know that you played for so um yeah I have no idea where I'm going to put all this stuff, or what I'm going to do with all this stuff, but I have it now, so, um, yeah, I will say Tariba ha in the last couple weeks have been really great about shipping stuff off, they've caught back up with all the problems that they have with typhoons and stuff like that, it seems like they've gotten really close to catching all the way back up now, so give them credit for that, because it has gotten a lot faster, I still have like four probably going to be five um, shippings that I'm still waiting for but right now it's currently four so there's some that are big and there's some that are small and I have one more thing coming from Tariba 2D and that's probably the last thing that I'll probably get from Tariba 2D because I'm much more of a fan of regular Tariba than Tariba 2D. Tariba 2D is a lot more rigged most people already know that but in case you're wondering it's a separate app uh, I think some people can't even download it anymore but um, it let me download it, and I tried it out just for the fun of it, because honestly, the only reason why I tried it out was to get this. And I calculated that if, even if I paid to the Ultra Strength, which basically means you're guaranteed it, it would have been 44 bucks. I ended up only paying 22 bucks, but even if it was 44 bucks, it still is going to be cheaper doing it that way than it was going to do to find it on eBay or Amazon or anywhere like that, because they want it much more than that. So that's the only reason why I did that so happy to finally have that um but yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video this um video is probably going to be extremely long because of the amount of stuff that's in this video thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you are kind and compassionate to each and everyone around you it's extremely important out there things i've been going through these last three or four days if i just had a couple of people that would have shown me compassionate like if I just had a couple people that would have shown me kindness and compassion, it would have gone a long way. I haven't had that, unfortunately. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you have any recommendations for videos, whether it be video game related or Tariba related, let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. I do not say blah, blah, blah. Finally, in case you're wondering, if she asked... I'm your favorite. <laughs> no, I'm the favorite. What is wrong with me? Like, ser seriously, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>